Kim Jong-il, a name that once instilled fear and awe in millions. But how much do we really know about his reign? He was an enigma, wrapped in mystery, shrouded by the secretive North Korean regime. His rule, marked by an eccentric personality and an iron grip on power, was a testament to his unorthodox leadership style. Kim Jong-il wasn't always the powerful leader we know him as. His rise to power was as swift as it was unexpected. He ascended the ranks, emerging from the shadows to take the reins of a nation. His rule was characterized by a veil of secrecy, making it difficult for the outside world to comprehend the true nature of his reign. His leadership was a paradox, a blend of flamboyant personal style and brutal political tactics. He was a master at maintaining an aura of mystery around his persona, making him an enigma in the true sense of the word. Join us as we delve into the secrets of Kim Jong-il's reign. The year 1994 marked the beginning of a new era in North Korea. With the death of his father, Kim Il-sung, Kim Jong-il ascended to the helm of a nation steeped in a cult of personality that his father had meticulously crafted. But the new leader was not content to stand in his father's shadow. He sought to create his own legacy. Kim Jong-il's rise to power was no overnight affair. It was a carefully orchestrated process that started years before his father's death. He was groomed for the role, taking on significant responsibilities in the Workers' Party of Korea, the country's ruling party. He was involved in the party's operations, shaping policies and strategies, and gradually solidifying his position within the party's hierarchy. When Kim Il-sung passed away, Kim Jong-il didn't immediately assume the title of supreme leader. Instead, he opted for a three-year mourning period, a strategic move that allowed him to strengthen his grip on power behind the scenes. During this time, he further ingrained himself into the fabric of North Korean society, taking control of the military and the party. Kim Jong-il also recognized the power of propaganda. He leveraged his father's cult of personality, positioning himself as the rightful heir to his father's legacy, a godlike figure who was the only one capable of leading the country. He set about building his own cult of personality, using state media to propagate myths about his life and accomplishments. Under Kim Jong-il's rule, North Korea became even more secretive and reclusive. He adopted a policy of military-first politics, prioritizing the country's armed forces over everything else. This not only strengthened his control over the military, but also allowed him to suppress any potential dissent within the country. Kim Jong-il's rise to power was marked by cunning strategies, ruthless suppression of opposition, and an unyielding grip on the country's institutions. His rule, like his father's, was absolute, and he wielded his power with an iron fist. While his power grew, so did the country's isolation. Under Kim Jong-il's rule, North Korea became an enigma, shrouded in mystery and fear. The reign of Kim Jong-il was marked by an iron grip over the populace, a reign where human rights were often tossed aside like autumn leaves. The citizens of the Hermit Kingdom lived under the constant watch of a repressive state apparatus, their freedoms curtailed, their voices silenced. The world outside looked on with a mix of fear and intrigue, unable to fully grasp the extent of the dictator's control. But the repression was not merely political. Economic difficulties also plagued the nation, casting a long and ominous shadow over the lives of its people. The 90s witnessed a catastrophic famine, aptly named the Arduous March, which devastated the country. Estimates suggest that hundreds of thousands, possibly even millions, perished during this time. The government's response? A chilling silence, an absence of action that spoke volumes about the regime's priorities. The famine was not just a natural disaster. It was a clear demonstration of the regime's indifference to the suffering of its people. Food distribution was heavily politicized, with the regime's loyalists receiving the lion's share, while the rest of the population was left to starve. This was not mere mismanagement. This was a calculated move, designed to consolidate power and quell potential dissent. Meanwhile, the state maintained a stranglehold on information, controlling what the people saw, heard, and knew. The state propaganda machine worked tirelessly, painting a picture of a prosperous and powerful nation, even as its people suffered. The world outside was depicted as hostile and dangerous, a narrative designed to instill fear and ensure loyalty. Thus, under Kim Jong-il's rule, North Korea became a fortress of fear, a place where human rights were trampled underfoot, and economic hardship was the order of the day. The international community watched with bated breath, their concerns met with silence and evasion. 
the world could only speculate about what was happening behind the country's closed borders. As the 21st century dawned, North Korea emerged as a nuclear threat under Kim Jong-il's rule. This marked a new era in the history of the secretive state as it began to flex its military muscles on the global stage. North Korea's nuclear ambitions had been a point of concern for the international community for decades. But under Kim Jong-il, these fears were realized. The country's clandestine nuclear program, which had been in the works since the late 20th century, saw significant advancements during his reign. From conducting underground nuclear tests to the development of ballistic missiles, North Korea was not merely content with having nuclear capabilities. It sought to demonstrate them much to the world's alarm. These developments were met with widespread international condemnation, with sanctions being imposed by the United Nations and other global powers. The world watched in trepidation as North Korea defiantly continued its nuclear program, seemingly undeterred by the mounting pressure. But there was a method to this madness. Kim Jong-il's nuclear posturing was more than just a show of power. It was a strategic move, a bargaining chip, if you will. Kim Jong-il knew that possessing nuclear weapons gave North Korea a seat at the international table, a means to negotiate and demand concessions that would otherwise be out of reach. This tactic was not without its successes. Kim Jong-il managed to secure aid and concessions from some of the world's most powerful countries, all while strengthening his domestic image as a fearless leader standing up to global superpowers. He leveraged the fear of nuclear war to his advantage both domestically and internationally. However, this strategy was not without its risks. The constant threat of nuclear escalation kept the world on edge, and the isolation of North Korea only deepened. Yet, for Kim Jong-il, this seemed to be a price worth paying. The world was forced to pay attention to the Hermit Kingdom. A nation once dismissed as a relic of the Cold War had become a focal point of international security concerns. And at the center of it all was Kim Jong-il, the enigmatic dictator who made North Korea a nuclear power. In December 2011, North Korea and the world woke up to the news of Kim Jong-il's death. His demise marked the end of a two-decade-long reign of terror leaving behind a nation in the grip of fear and uncertainty. Kim Jong-il's death was shrouded in the same mystery that defined his life. Official reports claimed a heart attack as the cause, but many speculated it was a result of his excessive lifestyle and chronic health conditions. The state-controlled media reported that he had died aboard his train during one of his many secretive trips across the country. Yet, the circumstances surrounding his death remained as enigmatic as the man himself. The impact of his death on North Korea was immediate and profound. For a people conditioned to revere their leader as a godlike figure, the loss was incomprehensible. The streets of Pyongyang were filled with orchestrated displays of grief as the country grappled with the vacuum of power. The transition of power, however, was swift. Kim Jong-il had been grooming his youngest son, Kim Jong-un, for succession since at least 2010. His death triggered a hasty coronation of the untested and inexperienced Kim Jong-un, further cementing the Kim dynasty's hold on North Korea. The rise of Kim Jong-un brought with it a sense of fear and anticipation. Would he follow in his father's footsteps or chart a new course for North Korea? As it turned out, the apple didn't fall far from the tree. Kim Jong-un assumed his father's mantle, continuing the repressive policies and nuclear ambitions that had become the hallmark of the Kim dynasty. The reign of Kim Jong-il had ended, but his legacy lived on. His death marked the end of one chapter in North Korea's history, but the beginning of another under his son's rule. The North Korean people and the world were left to grapple with the consequences of his dictatorship and the uncertainty of the future. Kim Jong-il's reign left an indelible mark on North Korea and the world. His rule was an era steeped in fear and shrouded in mystery, one where a nation was held under the iron grip of a dictator's whims. From his rise to power, through his nuclear ambitions, to his eventual death, Kim Jong-il's impact reverberates to this day. His legacy is one of a continued dynasty and an ongoing nuclear threat. Under his rule, North Korea became more isolated, more militarized, and more unpredictable. His son, Kim Jong-un, inherited not just a nation, but a mantle of secrecy, power, and nuclear capability. The world continues to grapple with the uncertainty and volatility that marks the Kim dynasty. In the wake of his reign, we are left with a chilling reminder of the potential dangers of unchecked power. The secrets of Kim Jong-il's reign may never be fully uncovered, but his impact is undeniably profound. Kim Jong-il's reign was not only marked by internal repression, 
but also by a tumultuous relationship with the rest of the world, particularly with the United States, South Korea, and Japan. His foreign policy was largely characterized by a confrontational stance and a series of high-stakes gambles. The dictator's missile tests and nuclear threats further isolated North Korea from the international community. The world watched with bated breath as Kim Jong-il, defying international norms and sanctions, pursued his nuclear ambitions. These actions served to further isolate his nation, but also kept the world's attention firmly on the Hermit Kingdom. In stark contrast to his aggressive posturing, Kim Jong-il occasionally made diplomatic overtures. Talks were held with South Korea and the United States, sparking fleeting hopes for peace and stability. Yet these efforts often led to broken agreements and heightened tensions. The dictator's strategy was a complex mix of confrontation, strategic engagements, and an unyielding commitment to his nuclear ambitions. China played a crucial role in Kim Jong-il's foreign policy. As North Korea's largest trading partner and main source of food, arms, and fuel, China provided the economic support that kept the regime afloat during its most difficult times. This relationship, while strained at times, was essential for Kim Jong-il's survival. In conclusion, Kim Jong-il's foreign policy was a high-stakes game of brinkmanship. It was a delicate dance of aggression, diplomacy, and dependency, one that left a lasting impact on the international stage. His strategy, for better or worse, has shaped the geopolitical landscape we see today. As the world grappled with the unpredictable nature of Kim Jong-il's reign, another narrative was quietly unfolding behind the scenes. The dictator's complex family life played a crucial role in shaping North Korea's future. His youngest son, Kim Jong-un, emerged as an unlikely heir to the throne. Despite being the youngest, Kim Jong-un was groomed for leadership from an early age. His father's health was deteriorating and the need for a successor was becoming increasingly apparent. But the path to power wasn't straightforward. There were internal struggles within the family. The dictator's eldest son, Kim Jong-nam, was once considered the heir apparent. However, he fell out of favor and was eventually sidelined, paving the way for Kim Jong-un's ascent. Kim Jong-il worked tirelessly to shape his son's image. He projected Kim Jong-un as a strong, capable leader, someone who could continue his legacy and uphold the principles of the regime. This was a carefully orchestrated plan designed to ensure a smooth transition of power. Kim Jong-un was introduced to key military and political figures, and he was often seen by his father's side during public appearances. The young prince was being prepared for the immense responsibility that lay ahead. In the end, Kim Jong-il's intricate family dynamics and succession planning became key elements of his rule. He successfully managed to keep power within the family, ensuring that his lineage would continue to rule the Hermit Kingdom. His death in 2011 marked the end of an era, but it also signaled the rise of a new leader, one who was groomed for power and destined to continue his father's legacy. Kim Jong-il's carefully crafted image of an enigmatic and eccentric leader was passed on to his successor, Kim Jong-un. Much like his father, Kim Jong-un rarely makes public appearances, adding to his aura of mystery and unpredictability. His image is meticulously controlled by the state media, which portrays him as a strong, decisive leader, despite his relative youth and inexperience. The secrecy around Kim Jong-un extends to his personal life as well. Little is known about his early years, other than the fact that he was educated in Switzerland, where he developed a passion for basketball. His health, too, is a subject of intense speculation. In the later years of his reign, rumors of illness and even death have surfaced frequently, only to be refuted by the state media. Kim Jong-un's enigmatic personality has added to the intrigue and fear surrounding his rule. His unpredictable actions and the lack of transparency about his intentions have made it difficult for the international community to anticipate his moves. His reign has been marked by a series of high-stakes diplomatic gambles, including the pursuit of nuclear weapons and the testing of intercontinental ballistic missiles. These actions have further isolated North Korea, but they have also served to consolidate Kim Jong-un's power at home. In the end, Kim Jong-un remains an elusive figure, a leader shrouded in mystery and eccentricity. His enigmatic personality has become a defining feature of his rule, much like his father before him. As the world continues to grapple with the challenges posed by North Korea, understanding Kim Jong-un and his motivations remains a daunting task. 
Kim Jong-il's death in December 2011 marked the end of an era. The state media announced the news with a tearful broadcast, plunging the country into a period of intense mourning. The elaborate state funeral that followed was a testament to Kim Jong-il's tightly controlled image. The world watched as thousands of North Koreans wept openly in the streets, their grief a stark reminder of the absolute power Kim Jong-il wielded over his people. His legacy, however, extends far beyond his death. Kim Jong-il's reign entrenched the Kim dynasty, ensuring the continuation of his family's rule. His regime was characterized by extreme totalitarianism, and under his rule, North Korea became one of the most isolated countries in the world. Despite international sanctions, he pursued a military first policy, directing resources towards the development of nuclear weapons while his people suffered from food shortages and economic hardship. His son and successor, Kim Jong-un, has carried on his father's legacy, maintaining the country's isolation and continuing its pursuit of nuclear weapons. Yet, he has also sought to assert his own authority, purging potential rivals and consolidating his power. He has maintained his father's cult of personality, presenting himself as a strong, decisive leader in spite of his relative youth and inexperience. In the end, Kim Jong-il's death and legacy continue to shape North Korea. His influence can be seen in every aspect of the country's policy and culture, from its military ambitions to its state-controlled media. As North Korea continues to navigate a path of isolation and defiance, the shadow of Kim Jong-il looms large, his influence as pervasive in death as it was in life. Kim Jong-il's reign was marked by a cult of personality, military first policies, and human rights abuses. His death did not mark the end of his influence, but rather, it was the beginning of a new chapter in North Korea's narrative, one that is still unfolding today. In the aftermath of his death, the world held its breath, watching as his son Kim Jong-un ascended to power and wondering how he would shape the country's future. Kim Jong-il's reign was characterized by an extreme form of totalitarianism. His military first policy, which prioritized the development of nuclear weapons over the welfare of his people, created a nation steeped in fear and isolation. Yet, despite the hardships his policies inflicted, his death provoked an outpouring of public grief, a testament to the power of his personality cult. His legacy is complex and far-reaching. His policies have left North Korea isolated from the international community, and his pursuit of nuclear weapons has created a persistent threat to global security. Yet, despite the international sanctions and pressure, North Korea under Kim Jong-un continues to follow the path set by his father, maintaining its isolation and military ambitions. In the end, Kim Jong-il's reign continues to have profound implications for North Korea and the world. His influence is as pervasive in death as it was in life, shaping every aspect of North Korean policy and culture. His shadow looms large over the country, a stark reminder of the power of a single individual to shape the destiny of a nation. As North Korea continues to navigate a path of isolation and defiance, the world watches with bated breath, wondering what the future holds for this enigmatic nation. To navigate a path of isolation and defiance, the world watches with bated breath. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about history, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, History Documentary.